In this video we're going to look at factorising and simplifying. As usual there are some exam questions in the video's description that you can try afterwards. From your regular GCSE maths you should already know how to do some factorisations. If you have something like this, you look for the highest common factor of both terms, in which case it's 2x, and then to work out what goes inside the brackets you just divide each of these terms by 2x. So 2x divided by 2x is 1, and 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x. You may also know how to factorise something like this, a quadratic expression, into two brackets. For this one it would be x take 2, x take 3. You should also recall the difference of two squares. Notice how both of the terms here are squares. You've got 4x squared, which is 2x times 2x, and 9y squared, which is 3y times 3y. You should know that this can factorise as 4x plus 3y and 4x minus 3y. Now there are some factorizations you may be unfamiliar with. One like this. If you see this as two terms, so 7 lots of x plus 5 to the 4 and 2 lots of x plus 5 to the 5, then each of those terms shares the same bracket, x plus 5. The first of those has it 4 times because it's to the power 4, and the second one 5 times because it's to the power 5. Since it appears 4 times in the first one and 5 times in the second one, we can factorise it out a maximum of 4 times. So we'd write a large bracket, then we consider what would you multiply x plus 5 to the power 4 by to get 7 lots of x plus 5 to the power 4. Well that's just 7. Then what would we multiply x plus 5 to the power 4 by to get 2 lots of x plus 5 to the power 5. Well obviously we need a 2, but we also need one more of the x plus 5s. Now what we do is simplify the expression inside this large bracket. If you expand the brackets here, then we end up with 7 plus 2x plus 10, and if you collect like terms here, the 7 and the 10 add together, you end up with x plus 5 to the 4, then inside a regular bracket now, 2x plus 17. You also need to know how to factorise expressions that look like this. It looks a little bit like it's a quadratic at first, however the highest power is actually x to the power 4. To factorise something like this we'd make a substitution. You would say y equals x squared. Then if you square both sides of this, squaring the left gets you y squared, and squaring the right gets you x squared squared, and if you square x squared you get x to the power 4. Using this substitution we can remove all of the x's from our expression and replace them with y's. The second part of our substitution says y squared equals x to the power 4, so we can replace the x to the power 4 with y squared. The first part says y equals x squared, so we can replace the x squared with a y, so instead of 7x squared it's 7y, and then plus 10. Now this is a quadratic and we can factorise it. It comes out as y plus 5 and y plus 2. Now what we do is substitute back so that we end up with x's again. Look at the first part of our substitution y was equal to x squared, so what we do is replace all of the y's in our answer here with x squareds. So instead of y plus 5 it's x squared plus 5, and instead of y plus 2 it's x squared plus 2. Let's try a second example of this. This time we're going to factorise x to the 4 minus 81. Again we'll use the same substitution, y equals x squared and y squared equals x to the 4. So we can replace the x to the 4 with a y squared, so this is really y squared take away 81. You should recognise this as the difference of two squares, which equals y plus 9 and y minus 9. Now we use the first part of that substitution again, we'll replace the y's with x squareds, so we end up with x squared plus 9 and x squared minus 9. Now at this point you may think we're finished, however this second bracket here is also a difference of two squares. This would factorise to give x plus 3, x minus 3. So the full solution is x squared plus 9, x plus 3, x minus 3. Factorising can be extremely useful to simplify more complex expressions. Take this fraction here. If we factorise the top using a single bracket, we can factorise 3x out. So it gives you 3x, x plus 4. And on the bottom is a quadratic, we can factorise that into two brackets, x plus 4 and x plus 2. We now have common factors of x plus 4 on the top and bottom, so we can cancel these, and this would simplify to give 3x over x plus 2. What about this one here? 
Well, in this case, we can factorize the top one again into a single bracket. So it would be 5x is the common factor. So you'd get 5x, 1 minus 2x. And on the bottom, we have the difference of two squares. It would be 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. Now, at first glance, it doesn't look like we have any common factors to cancel out. Although the second bracket here looks very close to the bracket on the top. They're just the other way around. What we can do here is refactorize the top. Rather than taking 5x out, take minus 5x out. If you take out negative 5x, this will switch the terms around inside the bracket. So you'd end up with negative 5x, lots of 2x minus 1. Now we can cancel out these terms here, and it simplifies to give minus 5x over 2x plus 1, which you may write with the negative in front, so negative 5x over 2x plus 1. And for this question here, we can factorize the top into a single bracket, the common factor is 6x cubed, so 6x cubed, lots of x squared minus 3. And on the bottom, if we use the substitution method, where y equals x squared, you'd end up finding that this factorizes to x squared plus 5, x squared minus 3. We now have a common factor of x squared minus 3, which gives us 6x cubed over x squared plus 5. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.